This is the temple of Castor and Pollux. It's built in the 5th century BC for the first time, reconstructed in the 2nd century BC, and then finally in AD 6, it's rededicated by Tiberius, still in the reign of Augustus. What you see there are three columns that have been standing since the last reconstruction in AD 6. And it is one of the great Republican temples that was ever located in the Forum area. We have here the remains of an impressive imperial temple. Here you have the famous three columns belonging to the rebuilding by Tiberius in AD 6. But the structure was almost as large already in the 5th century BC. As we walk along the Vicus Tuscus today, we see some of the marble remains of the Imperial Temple. But looking into toward the remains of the 7 meter high section of podium, you see incorporated into the conglomerate work of cement even some early blocks from the original Republican Temple, rebuilt twice in the 2nd century BC. It has an astounding history and legacy. The Temple to Castors is one of the amazing imperial temples in the Forum area. And you can see even at the bottom between the colonnades, some arches that then would be a shop for various kinds of activities in the Forum area. This whole area was filled with people selling all kinds of goods. But why is the temple here? It's because of this spring right here, the Lacus Yaturma. And what we see here today is the last iteration in the Trajanic period. But make no mistake about it, the Romans saw this as one of the most holy spots in the city, a place of epiphany where Castor and Pollux arrived physically and watered their horses, announcing that victory in the 5th century BC. One of the many reasons why the Romans were so successful, the gods were on their side.